Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Anime Background Junkie. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe or leave your comments below. While watching this video, I would suggest to have something to eat, like popcorn or any chips. It's a 24 minutes tutorial. This time we're going to illustrate landscape with the elements of trees, greeneries, using background, middle ground, and the foreground. Usually always use in uh, making uh, anime background, which is uh, very important. Uh, now I'm drawing the middle ground tree. So it's just very basic. I'm just doing the outline here. Now, this one here is the background, the background tree. So my plan here is to show you how details, whenever you apply the poster color to a landscape that has the importance of background, middle ground, and foreground. Do you have to make it really detailed if it's really background, if it's really on the far, far background? Or do you have to apply the, uh, the leaves on it? Okay, so now you can see I'm starting to apply a, an olive green. This is a mix with um, a viridian color. Okay, so they are dark color. Just a little bit detailed in adding those. Uh, leaves uh, edges okay so now i'm starting to add i'm starting to color the middle ground okay so you don't need to worry about making the color flat it doesn't matter the the composition when you apply these uh, this poster color it makes the uh, the tree stands out so later on it will embed with the with adding the details so no need to worry about uh, making it like 100% flat you can see i'm making the uh, the left side of the tree darker that will be used for uh, a shading now here's the uh, the foreground the tree Still the same color, but this time it's uh, uh, the viridian color is more uh, empowering compared to uh, compared to the uh, middle ground and background. Okay. I am using a bamboo brush here. see the same thing you don't need to worry about making it really flat okay so I think we need to uh, we need to we need to time-lapse this video just as not to to bore you watching this okay but not the whole thing I'm not going to apply the time lapse it's uh, useless and it's uh, confusing sometimes in watching those things you can see here I'm applying the, uh, the leaves adding the details already okay. the left side of the tree is starting to, to dry it up so you can see that I'm adding small details Okay, I'm mixing some color here. Same thing in the uh, foreground. In the foreground, I'm already applying well detailed of the bushes. You can see those uh, leaves and the edges of the bushes. As you can see that I'm uh, applying more detailed uh, leaves here in the bushes compared to those trees that I've done. Okay. 
This is more of a darker color because they are in the foreground. We will use this later on as a uh, shading for the bushes. You can see some parts of it are starting to dry. So it's, it's an opportunity to add those uh, small details. Okay. Take note that this is still a Viridian color with olive green. I added a little bit of um, soft black color. Making sure that they are thoroughly detailed. You don't need to rush th uh, things. You don't need to rush things here. Just take it easy in, in adding the details. And can see the it's already dried up some parts of it are already dried up I'm making this part a bit darker I've added a little bit of soft black there okay that will be the shades it's because the light will hit on the on the right side so you can see I'm adding the, uh, the details adding the leaves, highlighting those things, okay. We just need to take it easy adding details. Let's make sure that they are not, how do you say that? Like well-patterned layout, but adding details is, should be uh, like scattered, not consistent. Adding details. Whenever you do an artwork like this, you need to always um, look for uh, references. Like me, most of the time when I'm outdoor, if I've seen cloud formations, greeneries, and beautiful landscapes, and I Pull up my phone quickly and uh, take a photo out of it. That will be as my references for my paintings. It's really important to uh, to look at references. Uh, if you will notice, uh, Oga Kazuo or Nizo Yamamoto, these are famous uh, background painters in, in anime industry. They really go to the spot of nature. They took pictures. As their reference, the same thing with uh, with Hayao Miyazaki before he he do his films in his earlier films he uh, he always go go to the site where uh, like like if you will remember some of Miyazaki's films are mostly based on European settings that even himself will go to Europe to get photos or references like buildings landscapes, rural houses, and cities. Always remember that references are essential in making artworks, in making uh, anime backgrounds. Okay, I'm adding details on the middle ground tree, as you can see there. making sure that they are well applied. Okay, just a little bit of shade there. Same thing with the, uh, with the background. Okay. Later on, we'll work on the, uh, the tree tr trunks. It's there.
Okay, so now I'm not using a uh, chrome green here. This is a, uh, a lighter color of green. And this color always makes the uh, the tree stands out because of the uh, because of the high contrast color of this uh, this poster color. And this is one of my favorite color actually. Favorite co color to use uh, in Nike poster color, a chrome green, and it always stands out. Whenever you're applying it in the greeneries. Okay, so you can see here in the middle ground, you don't need to really 100% uh, stand out in making uh, leaves here. As you can see, I'm, as you can see, I'm adding chrome green just a little bit on some parts here. Consistent, but it's the right application. Okay, now here in the foreground, of course, this is near to the. What should, should we say? Uh, it's near to the camera, so it should be uh, detailed. So I'm patiently applying chrome green leaves stand out okay this is the uh, the fun part in uh, adding details for greeneries uh, you don't need to to rush uh, things don't need to rush really it's actually you're relaxing whenever you're, you're doing this yeah it's sort of a uh, therapeutic so I can see there I'm applying the top like so. okay go same thing here as you can see I'm also applying the chrome green same way I did in the top tree there in the foreground tree. You don't need to cover the whole thing with the with the light uh, green. So now I'm using now I'm using here a viridian color mixed with olive green and a little bit of soft black color here. You know dark colors uh, tend to um, tend to highlight the uh, the details of the uh, the bushes and they are a uh, Great way to uh, sort of a uh, looks your to look your bushes more uh, realistic. Not a hundred percent, but uh, like seventy percent.
Now I'm using still chrome green. I've added uh, I've added some white poster color just to make some leaves stand out. You know, there are some, if you will look for a reference for a trees or a bushes, you will see in detail that there are some leaves there that um, that reflects uh, the light, that reflects um, high contrast color. So by adding, by adding the light color there here, not really scattered the whole on the whole area but uh, like sparingly applied so now we are coloring the, the tree trunks here other artists prefer to to do the the trunks first but actually there's no there's no rules and Okay, so I'm adding some shades there. I'm adding some shadows on the tree trunks there. A little bit of shadow there. Same thing on the far tree there. The additional details. Okay, since the chrome green is already dried up, I can add more details to highlight those, uh, those leaves. Okay, same thing on the left side of the tree. sure that it will stand out this one is a different color I use a uh, an olive green but then I mix it up with uh, with chrome green you can see it's more uh, it's more yellowish because of the uh, olive green that I'm using here always remember that whenever you make greeneries always remember number one is to uh, to always have a reference there you need to have a set of pictures on your phone or print pictures where you can display it in your room and 
and look at it from time to time whenever you're, you're doing greeneries, grass or trees, or nature, mountains. Okay, I'm adding some lights that pass through the trees. Adding some details there. Let me go time lapse mode. Okay. So, so you can see here, I've already added the uh, the darker parts of the, the tree on the left side. As you can see here, I forgot to, to video this part where I added the details on the left, left side of the tree. But it is still it's just the same process what I did. So I added the, uh, the center light part of the leaves since this is a uh, texturized tree I cannot add a uh, reflection of the light source notice the uh, midsection where I added sparingly the chrome green because this part divides form light and form shadow Notice that the color I'm using here is viridian green mixed with white. I'm applying them by small groups of leaves here and there, not too much. This color is common to a leaf or blades of grass, sort of a uh, reflection of the light source. Okay, as you observed, the foreground, the tree and the bushes below, they are highly detailed. While the middle ground, you can see that I didn't add details there because of the because they're far away. You don't need to do that. But if you are persistent in adding the, the details, or you can do that, of course. But for me, personally, whenever I do greeneries, this is how I this is how I did it. And then the same thing with the, the background. Because since they are far away, I don't need to I don't need to highlight them. I don't need to to add the uh, the, the the leaves and the hundred percent details of it. So there you have it. There you have it, how I do the greeneries. Background, middle ground, foreground. Okay, I hope you enjoy watching my videos. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave your comments below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.